I'm alive! Welcome to Salento, everybody. This is a small town in the heart of Colombia and it's very popular with tourists for one main reason. Yeah, everybody comes here to see the Cocora Valley, which is very, very famous. I'm sure you've seen plenty of photos all over social media about it. You know, they use the big giant wax palm trees everywhere. It's a beautiful place. And the town itself is supposed to be really nice and colorful too, so we can't wait to explore it. Today, we're gonna head to the Cocora Valley and there is a very unique way that you actually get there, which we are excited to try out so yes. we're gonna head over to the main square now and uh, go and check it out to get to Kokoro Valley from Salento you have to take a one-of-a-kind ride in the back of a village jeep if you're lucky enough or unlucky depending on how you look at it you might even get the chance to stand on the back of the jeep for a really unique experience on the way to Kokoro Valley we had to settle for being inside the jeep so stick around for the return journey to see our full experience on the outside Just arrived to the Kokora Valley and there's a bunch of different options you can take when you arrive here. The first one you'll come to is like a kind of separate viewpoint area. They have a lot of like weird and interesting photo taking opportunities. You know like your usual Instagrammable things like swings, like I love Kokora Valley uh, signs and things like that yeah. which we might try later on we'll see because there's a massive queue for it this morning so we just want to get going with the hike. So that's the other option you can walk up a little bit further you get to where you enter the hike it's like 10,000 pesos per person to enter that area then you can either do like a shorter circuit around the palm forest or you can opt for a longer circuit which I'm not sure it's supposed to take around five hours but we've heard it takes a little bit shorter that takes you all through the valley I think that's what we're gonna do for sure but the options there for the shorter version if you want yeah and that shorter version you basically get to see all like the iconic viewpoints mm -hmm. it's really yeah. nice The Kokora Valley is the main location in Colombia where you can see the Quindio wax palm, the national tree of the country. This species of palm tree can grow up to 60 meters in height, making it one of the tallest trees in the world. Walking through this unique landscape and seeing these trees up close really gave us an appreciation of just how big they are. So we just completed the first little section through the palm forest. It's actually a lot shorter than I, I thought it was going to be, but it's really beautiful. Yeah. We got really lucky too because the cloud has just has just come in now and you can't see anything. We got the drone up, got the, the photos taken and everything before that happened. I was really lucky and even saw a condor. Oh yeah, it was which... amazing. It was flying so close to us. I thought he was going to grab the camera yeah. out of my hand. I messed up the filming because he <laughs> put his talons out and I was like, oh my God, he's going to come down and grab it. <laughs> luckily, but... He was just landing. It's but... amazing. It's very strange to see a condor here because yeah. it's not the kind of altitude they live at. So... No, it's a lot lower. We'd heard that it was here and it was just so awesome to see it. It's such I an know. amazing amazing bird. Now we're heading up on the trail that's probably a little less traveled, the long one that goes around the valley. Not so many uh, wax palms here, just a nice hike hopefully, which we haven't done for a long time. I so. mean, if you discount the hike in Tarjona National Park, well, yeah. which uh, turned into a mud path. <laughs> I don't count that one. That was just a sweaty mess. Yeah. <laughs> definitely not the most interesting section of walking it's just a track really and it's like constantly uphill so it's a little tricky too because we are quite high up here probably around 2500 meters and as you can see we're not getting very many views of the valley at the moment so it does feel like we're just kind of slogging for nothing but an optional one anyway you don't need to do it it's oh, but just... also towards the end of the trail you're gonna enter some private land you have to pay an extra 5,000 Colombian pesos for that so 
yeah. that in mind as well, just to have enough money on you. <laughs> so beautiful here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Reminds me of like some of the walks we did in Scotland or yeah. like England somewhere. So pretty. The landscape's just like completely changed. Got high enough now, I think we're almost at 3,000 meters. You've got these pine forests Definitely now. Definitely started to feel the altitude a little bit, yeah. especially in the outfields. Oh, it is very pretty. running to one of those. <laughs> so as you can hear the last section of the trail follows the river back down towards where the jeeps drop you off. You kind of feel like now we're back in Costa Rica a little bit so you really do get like all sorts of environments on this walk up in the alpine forest and then down here in sort of like the cloud forest and obviously the wax palms. Really cool little walk for sure. This brings back some good memories. Oh. Bad memories. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want to go first? I don't think so. It looks like it goes into the water. I'm alive! <laughs> it's not got as many holes in it. I feel like this was sketchier than the previous one. This is down the uh, craziest bridges I think we've ever walked. I think so. This one was sketchier. It's every step you expect to, uh, <laughs> to fall into the through. river. Is it safe? <laughs> We walk back to the Willys Jeep meeting point, and this time we're lucky enough to hitch a ride standing on the back of the vehicle, which was just as exciting as it was nerve wracking because the drivers definitely don't slow down for you. The Kokora Valley is amazing, but it is not the only reason to come to Salento. The town itself is also supposed to be very charming and colourful. Yeah, just and... like in Guatape, I think, so yeah. happy to walk around. And it's also supposed to have some of the best coffee in the whole of Colombia. We're going to be heading into town today to see if all of that is true. Our top tip for wandering around Salento is to do it twice, once early in the morning around sunrise and once more in the afternoon. In the morning you'll get to see all the amazing colours painted on the doors and windows of the shops before they open. Definitely the best time for taking pictures. However, you also don't want to miss visiting the wide selection of art and craft shops, so head back in the afternoon to have a browse for souvenirs with the rest of the tourists. We couldn't leave. Colombia without doing a Colombian coffee tour and one of the best places to do that is here in Salento. So we're now heading across town to the Finca Don Eduardo coffee tour location where we're gonna hopefully enjoy some really good coffee. Up 
After arriving at the location, we were greeted by some huge but super friendly dogs who kept us company throughout the tour. This was probably the most informative but informal coffee tour we did on our trip and we really enjoyed it. The owner was very friendly and very knowledgeable and we learned a lot about the coffee making process and what goes into producing the best cup of coffee possible. At the end of the tour, we roasted our own coffee beans for a very fresh and delicious cup of coffee. Finally, there are two really cool viewpoints that you can come to that are just above Salento and offer you really nice views out over the city. Pretty easy to get up to too, not many stairs. The first is Mirador Alto de la Cruz and the second one is Mirador de Salento. We're gonna go and check them both out and see which view is better. Ready to burn all that lunch? Mm -hmm. All those leaves? <laughs> many, many stairs. Essentially the Mirador Alto de la Cruz is a viewpoint over the Salento town and the Mirador de Salento is a viewpoint over the valley behind it. Both are really nice, both a little bit different, so you get a different vibe from both of them. Worth checking both out because they're easy to get to. Salento and the Kokora Valley were the perfect nature escape that we needed after weeks spent in the bustling cities of Colombia. Salento itself is a gorgeous mountain town full of color, cute cafes, and amazing views, but the real highlight is definitely the stunning Kokora Valley and the giant palm trees that populate it. It is definitely one of Colombia's most unique experiences and one that shouldn't be missed during your time in the country. Thanks for watching and see you on our next adventure.